We're here at the Outdoor Trade Show in Liverpool looking at some of the coolest climbing gear for next year. We're here with Black Diamond's new range of bouldering pads. The first one that's exciting is the Circuit Z, which is a basic pad which is nice and small and fits in the back of your car, but because of its design, it unfolds and is actually a really big pad with a lot of coverage. The Erratic here is all the bells and whistles. It's got a waterproof fabric um, and it's got this really nice, comfy, comprehensive back system that means you can carry it a long way for those mountain boulder problems. The pad is a three layer foam system that has closed cell on the outside and open cell on the inside, which means that it's more waterproof and has better shock absorption. Black Diamond have also got a range of accessories, starting with the Gap Stopper topper mat, sit start pad, a handy bag that fits within the boulder pad for all your kit, and then this nifty gadget which is called a piggyback which straps everything together. And all together that looks like this. <laughs> We've got the Mamu Sender Light here which is a stripped back super light harness that's been designed for the Olympics and for high-end sport climbing. It's got two gear loops and one buckle and it's been stripped back for maximum lightness but also maximum safety. It weighs 213 grams. According to Adam Andra, it's the best harness he's ever used. The DMM Ether is the latest carabiner from DMM. Now the thing that's interesting about this crab is that it's got a no snag nose and you might be thinking well it's the same as the chimera but the chimera actually was pressed so there was a lot of waste when they pressed out this nose whereas the ether has been cnc'd so there's a lot less wastage in the manufacturing process now it's 28 grams which is the same as the phantom which is the carabiner that i use but the difference between the phantom and the ether is that the gate is actually just nipped in a little bit, which means that when it's maybe touching the rock, there's less opportunity for the gate to open. So it's got a slightly deeper rope basket than a Phantom, and it's got a wider rope radius here, which means if you fall off, it doesn't bend your rope quite so tightly, which means that your rope lasts a little bit longer. It's available as an individual carabiner and also as a quick draw and they come in 12, 18 and 25 centimetres as well as in packs of six. The new Wild Country Mosquito Pro Harness is a bit of an update on the really popular Mosquito that the Wide Boys have been using for the last couple of years. So the main differences are, it's got a slightly wider waist belt which has got a three webbing straps inside rather than two so it's a little bit more comfortable in the small of your back. It's got adjustable leg loops, which the Mosquito doesn't have, that's got fixed leg loops. It's got moulded gear loops, which means that it's easier to hang lots of gear off it, it sits a bit nicer. It's got ice clippers as well. It weighs in a medium 340 grams, and the main question is, gate in or gate out? <laughs> this is the Otsun Twist Eco Harness. This is actually sort of one of the most incredible harnesses that we've seen at the show. It looks like a pretty standard harness, but it's actually 82% made from recycled materials, which is an incredible feat, really. Um, there is some virgin materials still sort of within the harness, um, and they're mainly safety elements, so stuff like the buckles, um, there's a little bit of stitching and stuff, but literally everything else on this whole harness is made from recycled materials. We really like this Dyneema, which is like a bio Dyneema, effectively made as a waste product from the paper industry. So all in all, this harness must have taken a huge amount of design and an incredible amount of research because we've not really come across any other harnesses that have this amount of recycled material in them. Pretty impressive.